Hi, I am Dr. Shiv Charan Reddy. I am a surgical gastroenterologist and a senior consultant at Yashoda Hospital, High Tech City. Uh, today, I'll be speaking to you briefly about uh, fistulas, uh, causes of fistulas, management of fistulas, and how to avoid them. So, basically, what is a fistula? Fistula is nothing but a tract which connects inside of the anal canal to outside. The most common presentation of these fistulas is seeing pus discharge at the anal canal, foul smell at the anal canal, sometimes bleeding and sometimes associated with a swelling or a tender swelling, which is a painful swelling. So there are different types of fistulas. There are high fistulas and low fistulas, uh, and there are complex fistulas and simple fistulas. The most common cause of fistulas or any perianal problem for that matter is constipation or passing of hard stools, sitting for a long time. Uh, these are the most common problems which constitute more than 95% of the causes of fistulas. There are other causes like infective causes like Crohn's disease, inflammatory bowel disease. There are uh, um, patients where immunocompromised patients also can get these. Tuberculosis is another such cause. So apart from this, the most important thing like I told you is constipation and avoidance of constipation can prevent uh, the occurrence of fistulas in about 90% of these of the patients. So how do you diagnose them? Uh, the easiest way to diagnose fistulas is clinical diagnosis. Any colorectal surgeon or a gastroenterol surgical gastroenterologist can identify, do a per-rectal examination and identify external opening and an internal opening uh, and pass through these is an easy identification of fistulas. Um, the imaging, other imaging modalities like MRI fistulography or uh, transrectal ultrasound are also commonly used. So coming to the treatment, the treatment of fistula is, is part surgical and part uh, lifestyle management. Surgical uh, treatment of fistulas constitute of so many things. It is a traditional fistulotomy surgery where you open uh, the fistula and lay it open. You remove a fistula which is called as a fistulectomy. Uh, the recent uh, usage of laser in the treatment of fistulas is rampant. Um, if the fistulas are very complex, you can use a camera to uh, do the surgery, which is called as a waft surgery. Uh, there are different types of uh, fistula surgeries and not one surgery can be used for all the patients. It has to be customized based on the patient and his needs. Almost all the fistulas need surgical management. That is one part of it. How to prevent it? Yes, taking high fiber diet, having plenty of liquids and fluids, doing physical activity, being physically active, uh, not maintaining a static position for a long time, uh, keep moving every 20 minutes, don't sit for a long time. These are the most common things. And uh, the presence of a fistula, and if there is a recurrence again, meet your surgical gastroenterologist, uh, get evaluated for infective causes also. Uh, so on and so forth. Uh, apart from this, basic lifestyle changes like uh, eating good food, which includes a lot of fiber, fruits and vegetables, uh, drinking at least two liters of water every day, uh, having good sleep, maintaining good posture and uh, meeting the doctor early uh, in case of symptoms. Thank you. Thank you.